So, the Motor Show is happening this weekend at Haven Street. Um, and myself and Paul Topping have been given a few cars to review. Um, like this one, Paul Topping. What's this called? Well, it's funny you should say that. This is the brand new to the Ford range. This is the Ford Echo Sport. Uh, not Eco. Don't get confused. Yeah, it is don't. ECO, but it is Echo Sport. It is Echo Sport. Yeah, so it's uh, five door. And as you can see, uh, it's their SUV range, so ideal for a family car. Lots of space here in the back. Uh, you can have a look. Now, I'm the size of a small child, and when I um, get in the back here, I can show you a few of the bits and pieces, including this little pocket there, ideal for the children to just put stuff in. Uh, it's like a lucky dip of chocolate and general odds and ends that go in there. And uh, three seats across the black back, and as you can see that these split down as well uh, for the boot. Uh, coming round here, uh, this is the bit that I don't like about this car. The one thing why, I don't why? like. Do well, think? if you stand there, okay, right. ready right. for this? Oh, I'll open right. it up. Hold on. So uh, you need quite a bit of space at the back uh, to be able to do this. Now, if you've got a driveway, it's probably fine. But if you're parking in the street uh, at any point, you are going to need to bear in mind that to open it fully, you're going to need a good probably meter and a half, something like that. Yeah, but I like that because I do have a driveway and I, I think it works. We've got a buggy, two dogs, shopping, get myself in there. It's fine. This is a very neat feature. So uh, with the boot here, uh, you get this, which is like the bottom parcel shelf, and you can actually create your own little uh, little cubby holes there uh, to put stuff in. So uh, nice. separation, can, I like yeah, that. That's good. Set the different heights there, and the parcel shelf, and as you can see, the seat split in a. 2070 30 <laughs> fashion 36. in a certain it, fashion it's definitely a percentage Let split me try, i want there. to try and close okay Is that all right I'll yeah. give it a little go oh, oh. yeah didn't quite need to do it quite so fiercely yeah it's, i it's, like that i think yeah. that's good uh, 17 inch alloys on this version uh and lots of other choices as well they really bling it up don't they and then I'm, we're going to get the uh the camera person to get into the car and heather's going to get in the other side and we'll show you some of my favorite bits so, inside the car, uh, you get this massive screen on this model. Uh, and if I start it up, it is keyless start, so you can pretty much put this anywhere. Take it out of gear, <laughs> and we'll start, start it up. A brilliantly clear display here as well. It's asking me to close the driver's door, which I'm not going to do because it's, it's absolutely... it's too hot today. It's roasting. I'm going to turn the air con up a little bit. Uh, so... Uh, first of all, the first thing you'll notice is this massive display screen with the entertainment system. It has an amazing sound system. We won't play it now for the simple reason that you're just not going to hear how good it is. Uh, lots of different options. For example, uh, if you're going for a radio station, you can choose whichever one of the radio stations it's already pre-chosen. Yeah. Uh, um, look at that. You've got a great selection there. You have. Let's choose. Um, I'll go for this one. This one sounds good. This is Isle yes. of White Radio. Um, Please proceed to the highlighted route and then the route guidance will start. Yes. Yeah, so uh, route guidance on here as well. Uh, lots of other different features that uh, Heather and I were playing with. Uh, for example, the phone calls. You can pair your phone. Uh, you've got navigation. Not only is it navigation, but you can also zoom in and out with pinch, which is something you don't get on a lot of cars. Uh, mobile apps, you can download them. And if you've got an iPhone, then you can also connect to uh, their own in-car entertainment system as well. So you can use your iPhone uh, in the car in a sensible, legal way. Uh, some other little bits and pieces that you've got here. You've got voice control on a lot of things, so uh, we can press the button here. Please say a command. Find me the nearest petrol station. Please say a line number. One. When ready, use the voice button and then say set as destination or set as waypoint. Set as destination setting us destination and that's how easy yes it is. i like that route and then the route guidance will start. 
So that's going to that's going to guide me there, which is really really cool. And you can choose how you see the map, whether you see it in three D or not. Uh, the other thing that is really smart, and I love all these gadgets on cars, but this one really took my eye: ambient light. So you can't really see it because it's so bright today, but you can choose which color you want all the lights in the car to be, and then you can actually change how bright it is as well with the ambient light. And light. you can connect your uh, mobile to it. You can connect to a mobile network and share that as well. And it's got loads of other features. The best thing to do, I think, is uh, probably to go down to the motor show at the weekend and actually give it a test drive and try it out yourself. It's got some other great features. If you've got a mobile phone, you want to charge it up. It's got fast charge there, so it will really quickly charge your mobile up. Uh, a completely button fest on the uh, on the on the a <laughs> button a button fest. Yes, okay, right. I can't think what they call it. Um, it's a, an, a button, yeah, an lot, array lot, of lot, buttons. Lots of buttons oh, on the steering wheel. I love it how you just love the technology as well, Paul. You're so into the technology. This is you? the bit. You know, at the end of the day, all cars go forwards and backwards. It's what's it got on the screen. Very true. Makes the Very difference. Very true. Very comfy seats. But as Heather and I would say, where's the motor show? It's happening at Haven Street this weekend. So be there.